Hello everyone, so Belle Delphine has been somewhat of a talking point in my circle recently, be it from her rather suggestive music videos, which I'll not be showing even a frame of throughout this video. So don't you worry, Susan, I'm a family-friendly boy. <laughs> On top of that, she did buy my friend a car. Not sure I want to explain that. I would say that a vehicle worth £5,000 is an exceptional gift to give someone, but the time and energy I've put into Will's second channel is worth far more than £5,000. Am I asking for the car? Yes. Now in today's video, I'm going to be analysing some of Belle's PG old family friendly videos. But you're probably wondering how I even came across such internet gold. And well, my dear viewers, let me tell you a story. So in Will's new car, there was a couple of chests. Now he failed to mention this in his video, but in one of the chests, there was a letter that read, to James, please analyze me. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. The letter also read, God, you are such a hunk. Slow down was a banger. Your dad should be very proud of you. He should be, Bill. you're right. Now, as soon as Will told me there was a package for me, I traveled the lengths of the country from my measly little apartment in East London to his mansion, definitely not in the same building, to pick it up as quickly as possible. Just so I could take advantage of his very special moment and so everyone else could acknowledge that I'm also a part of this and subscribe. Do it right now, I dare you. William! Oh. I'm here for the package! Hello, lad. The package, Will! Well, you're on a boat. Come on, mate, the package. I'm just, just give this to me, all right? James, this is Smash Bros. It's not Smash Bros, it's the package! I have to analyse it! Here's, here's the package, James. No, more gusto. Back. More gusto. More gusto. Wow, James! This package with... What, what's on it? It's Belle Delphine's old videos. Wow, this package with Belle Delphine's old videos, James! Here you go! Yes! Get a million views, James! <laughs> Thanks, lad! Sorry for stealing your thunder! Now, if I'm being honest, finding Belle Delphine's old videos is difficult. Luckily, I didn't have to find them because I was given them. But if I was to have to find them for some absurd reason, I'd probably start with Belle Delphine before they were famous. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be using this video today. In short, I couldn't be bothered to watch it when I realised it started like this. <laughs> I also then realised that this video was made by Michael McCrudden, so I deleted my YouTube history, deleted my YouTube channel, and threw my computer off a cliff. Don't worry, I won't be putting you through the PTSD-worthy trauma of watching a Michael McCrudden video, for I, James Marriott, now have the exclusive access to two of Belle Delphine's old videos. No one else has access to these videos, they're definitely not available on her public YouTube channel with over a million subscribers. So the first video that we're going to be taking a little look at is four years old, and the other one is two years old. Now starting with this one from four years ago, okay? This Belle is so far removed from the person she is now. Hi, I'm Belle, and today I'm going to be doing my everyday eye makeup for you. Hi, this is how people used to do intros on YouTube. <laughs> I say that I started this video with a wave, didn't I? Also, a lot of YouTubers do this, so I'm not going to call out Belle for this, but she does this a lot right now. Some of you may not have noticed, but I'm not looking at you right now. I'm almost looking at your forehead. Now, some people are just so narcissistic that they don't look at the lens. They look at themselves in the viewfinder. This little thing right here at the back. Yeah, that. If you didn't know, one of the easiest ways to make people uncomfortable is by looking at their forehead. So now that you're aware of it, I've probably ruined about half of all of the content on YouTube. So again, subscribe. I've had a few people ask me how I do my makeup, so I thought I'd just make a quick and easy video of how I do it. So if anyone asks, I can just link them to this. Do you see what I mean? This doesn't seem like Belle at all. She sounds more Southern, more posh than I do. This person right here probably goes to EDL marches. The one element of chaos that I can definitely see in this video, however, is the room. I don't know what color you could call this wall. It's like, I guess my favorite color. What are these magazines? Is that a Powerpuff girl? A very murky looking Pikachu here. I just don't trust it, okay? Anyone who has a messy background, anyone that has a messy background cannot be trusted. So I stop filling in at the end of my natural eyebrow and this is where I sort of turn it up. I very much underestimated how boring this would be. Like, okay, I thought Belle Delphine, you know, queen of controversy and sending people vials of their blood. I thought she could make makeup interesting. It seems that that was an impossible task. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. Oh. I ended. Look, all right, don't get angry at me. I have a bad history with beauty influencers. Other than my girlfriend, Aria, who's sick. Look, it's an eye, but it's cool. I'm sorry, I'm really not doing you justice there. We're gonna move it on to a video from two years ago, something which I'll hopefully have a little bit more commentary on. A kawaii forest room tour. Because you know me, the pillar of home decor. Look how colorful. As she also included in the title, Magic Pastel Disney Princess. Again, that's a little bit of me. Got some flowers, they're very dead. Some Disney memorabilia, some more Disney. Disney memorabilia here. You see, I love Sonic. Let's get into it. I want to see Belle Delphine's pad. Not in that way. I don't want to Aria if you watch. I don't want, I don't mean that. <laughs> 
be honest, I'm terrified. Let's just break down this shot, okay? I think that says love, and then there's the skull of some horned mammal. A doll wearing a wig. Is that a gun? Her mother's torso, most likely. Does that have a head? It's just terrifying. Imagine if someone invited you over for dinner and this was the dining room. Oh, lovely place, Belle. What's for dinner today? You. I'm going to fucking eat you. Welcome to my room, so come on in. Actually, you know what? I probably wouldn't go to her house for dinner anyway. Because quite frankly, that look was terrifying. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I don't trust people with braces. That's right, real men have crooked teeth. They chip them on the e-boys channel. They've probably needed a filling for at least a year and a half. I have a hole in one of my teeth. Dentists, if you're watching this, please help a brother out. But yeah, I don't know. I just don't really trust people who wear braces. Probably because the majority of them are children. Also, the elf ears. You know people have surgery to reduce the size of their ears, Belle? That's for a reason, mate. So this is my wardrobe. This is my job. Jumpers. And this is a Tangled <laughs> Alright, someone's gonna have to explain this to me. And I'm sorry if uh, any of you are Belle Delphine simps out there. Does she not, okay, does she not have the mannerisms of a child? Doing stuff like he he and saying, this is my jumpers. I know she corrected it in post. Doesn't count. Speak English. I just don't really understand how people can find those kind of mannerisms attractive. I get most of my skirts from Aliexpress, Cutesy Kink, and the bin. And these are my babies. They're all my dresses. God, I thought she was referring to the bears there. I mean, that would make sense if she was some kind of metamorphic alien. Also, I have to mention, in this shot, there must be at most three colors here. You know, I would make a point of it that there's more colors out there, but if you go through every James Marriott video, I'm probably wearing black. I wore this hoodie today to spice things up, and that's really saying something. And here are three picture frames that I made, and a terrarium at the top with the cute little anime girl in. She's fucking trapped! Who do we reckon that is? Um, black hair, long, the Mario? The fucking War Wario Luigi? There's a poem. Oh, we've got to read the poem. A delicate brush of, what does that say? Uh, s s skunk? Slin? Skin. Ah. A delicate brush of skin as warm, blank, low red garden sunlight sinks in. From faint morning glow, pale pink lips, fluttering breaths blossom within. I mean, this would give Gabby a run for her money. Just kidding, Gabby. Please don't put a hit out on me. Up here is my magic forest. I'm sorry, how did she get this much money? I swear figurines like this must cost at least like 20 pounds each. She even has figurines on the figurines. Is there a human trapped in this? There's just so much going on. It's almost blinding. Pastel colors should not be blinding. Up here is my magic forest where I put lots of bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Oh, look at my desk. Got, little bits and bobs. Got my femimulus mask here. Just a little bits and bob. For anyone at the beginning of this video that said, oh no, she can't be more posh than James. Well, there you go. There's your proof. Bits and fucking bobs. You'd catch me in little before I'd say that. Yeah. Here are some Studio Ghibli little, what are they called? What's that then? <laughs> Studio Ghibli? All I know is fucking Disney, mate. This is a really sad teddy that I painted at a clay painting place. Okay, how old is Belle Delphine here? Belle Delphine is 20 years old. Bruh, she's three years younger than me. How has she had the amount of time to make this stuff? I've done one artistic thing in my life. This, okay? I did this when I was about 10. This is the only thing I've ever gone to a real class for. And let's be honest, lads, it's shit. How the hell did she have all of the time to do this when she was only 18 years old? This looks like her own house. All right, uh, that's thrown me off massively, but let's keep going. Okay, come on into my bathroom. No. Put me out of here. You know what? I'd say we're about a year away from seeing the full version of that. Lord help us. I like stock by the same thing so I don't have to go outside and get more. How do you have that much makeup? Look, I don't even stock by like that and I'm a millionaire. I'm not. Okay, that was a joke. I'm not a fucking millionaire. For some reason, some people out there think I'm a millionaire. Okay, I'm only 23. I'm not 31. Okay, stop saying I'm 31 years old. And here's Dove Soap, the one and only queen. Oh, sorry, lads. Come on, salute for your majesty. You can't see, I am saluting. I am saluting still. Yeah, that's my girl, Brexit Delphine. And all over my ceiling, I have these fake ivy that I bulk bought and I put basically over my entire room. Wait. I have these fake ivy. <laughs> I've got more Powerpuff Girls that I got from Kinder Eggs. That's spatula frying up some simps. This Hello Kitty lunchbox, which at the moment I'm using to store 
Play-Doh. Play-Doh. So she has her Play-Doh in a lunchbox inside of a kid's bag that she takes on sleepovers. And uh, you guys buy the OnlyFans and you're like, I've oh, got a problem with this. Love a bit of Play-Doh. You know what? Uh, there's a bit of a stink in here now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna light my candle. I'll just put this on my fucking nostrils. You all need therapy. Here is my mannequin. And underneath is no. All right, everyone at home, hands up. Move away from where you're watching this video. Let's all hide for a minute. There's an element of Belle's persona that just kind of terrifies me. That's not a persona though, what she did there. That is actual real anger that she chose to leave in this video. I'll be real though, this happens to the best of us. And by that, I mean me. I get very angry at myself when I get things wrong in my videos. I'm pretty sure that my editor, Cynic Snacks, has a folder of me getting angry at myself. No, I don't. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Over time, you start to realize that Melody's more jovial posts are clearly just done for pl <laughs> all of their employees coll collectively screeching. <laughs> Children exposed. <laughs> oh, he can't shit. So yeah, that's not a very normal reaction from Belle, but YouTubers aren't normal in general. And in the middle, it's a really weird designed house, but excuse the gun. Excuse the gun. I love the doll's house. Belle, everyone watching this video loves the doll house. Just go along with it, okay? Just go along. Mmm, yes, good, doll's house. Everyone at home, comment down below how much you love the doll's house. Now that you want to get hurt. To be honest, I actually kind of rate the aesthetic. It's certainly more aesthetic than uh, th this. So I guess what I'm trying to say is compared to Belle, I've got, hang on, nothing. I do have more subscribers than I though, yeah. So you can take your huge OnlyFans bag and throw it out the window, because quite frankly, your boy's got more subbies. Uh, I want to use this moment to say, I want two million, all right? Not pounds, already got that. I want two million subscribers. In fact, I want two million subscribers so much that if we get two million subscribers by the end of the year, I will shave off my beard. Please don't unsubscribe, okay? That's not what I want. I just think it's been, what, two years since I last shaved at this point? Damn, yeah, no, I last shaved when when this video came out. So if you wanna see what's going on under here, subscribe right now, get your friends to subscribe, get all of your anime dolls in your magical forest to subscribe. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Bell, please don't hurt me or anyone watching this video right now. Do subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will catch you next time.